Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you. Um, this is the first thing I want to say. Thank you to all of you uh, who shared my last post, the community post um, that I did. I, I'm, <laughs> I actually don't have words to describe how grateful I am and how thankful and grateful I am for you all, for the ones who shared who comment, who uh, give me shout outs on their channels um, and to those of you who are new to this channel, um, thank you so much that you, you, like you didn't have to do it, you just come in and you just show me your kindness, your love and, um, and you actually showed me that people do care about others. Um, and especially with recent um, things, what is happening in the world. Um, we're just living in such a crazy times at the moment. Um, it's just so important to see that people are still, they still do care. Like they do care about others. They do care about animals um, because that's what we need to do as a human being. Um, I know I've probably gone into very serious at the moment, but you don't even know how grateful I am. I actually have, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I just want to say a thank you to everyone who was so kind and um, and you give me the chance to know you and to know me as well. And um, thank you so much. I actually did this post because I was like, Oh, I would love to see that four in the, you know, in the start, like just to get over 400 subscribers. And I did it. I actually didn't know that that will go so big. And I just recently um, got so many new people around me and, um, and everyone was so kind and wished me good luck and um, thumbs ups, likes. I just, I love it. I actually... Um, Thank you so much for your support. I'm really, really appreciate it for each one of you. Um, a lot of people do take things for granted, um, like health and finances and um, different things, but some people are not that lucky. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you and just to t tell you how grateful I am for, for you all, okay? Thank you so much. I know I got into very serious, but I'm actually completely speechless and overwhelmed and I just don't know what to say, but I um, love you all. Um, today we will be cash stuffing for my long-term savings challenges and a little, a little bit about myself because there's a lot of new people in watching this channel. Um, my name is Alicia, I'm Polish and I'm living in Ireland for a good few years now and we are a family of four, as myself, my husband and we have two boys. One is in secondary school and he he will be actually 15 next month in April very very soon and my younger one uh, will be 10 in July. Um, we also have an angel. <laughs> um, I had a daughter when my older son was two, uh, so she was between the boys. And um, uh, we had a daughter, and um, she was born in when my older son was uh, 13, uh, or two, sorry, what am I saying? When he was two, and um, but she passed away as a baby just a month after she was born so I never said that before to my existing subscribers so it's probably new to you but I thought I want to share um I've no problem to talk about this because this is my life this is part of my life and I don't want to forget I won't forget and I think if you talk about it it's just easier for you. um look um I just want to introduce a little bit so yes we have two boys um and a dog we have Jack Russell Terrier um her name is Tammy um she's my girl and um yeah she's totally spoiled like she's a very good dog but very spoiled and um and myself and my husband both working my husband is working full-time he's also doing overtime hours if he can 
Um, I'm working 30 hours a week and as per law in Ireland, this is treated as a part-time job. Um, you need to work 35 hours up as a full-time hours, but I'm working 30 hours a week. I just can't work more hours because I always said that from one job, I'm going to the second job, which is being a mom, a wife. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, activities for my boys like we want them to do sports we want them to do things to be interesting in and um, and if we have time and if they have time um, why not so my older son is doing basketball he's doing football uh, Irish football which is Gaelic um, and and yes and my younger one is doing basketball for local town team and then he's doing swimming and kickboxing. And so that's like every evening is something else. Um, I think only Thursday I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but look, um, so basically I'm always saying that I'm finished one job and I'm going to the other job for which I'm not getting paid, obviously. Like YouTube for me and my savings challenges and my savings is more like a diary and... What you can see here in this channel is my real savings, my real money, my real savings out of our paychecks. We're getting paid on Thursdays. My, my husband is getting paid every Thursday. I'm getting paid every second Thursday. And um, so what you can see in this channel is our real savings. Um, and I'm doing both digitally digital savings and I'm doing um, cash savings here in, this, in these binders. So... Yeah, I'll be explaining you why I'll be going for those of you who are new, obviously. Um, I have my sh uh, long-term savings challenges and short-term short -term savings challenges. Short-term is usually the ones that I can that I know that I will complete or finish up to three months. And anything above three months, it's a long-term saving challenge. We need them too. So then at the end of the month, when I have some challenges completed, I am unstuffing them and I will, and I will reallocate it either... Well, I bring them all in the bank and I re reallocate them between uh, loans and debts and savings accounts and different things. Sometimes we're just spending the money because we need something. There's always something to um, to replace, to buy or car service and different things. So, uh, yes. Um, so that's it. That's just a small introducing of myself. Um I'm living in Ireland, um, beautiful country. I know we do have a lot of rain in here, but I don't mind. I think if I, uh, if that was really bothering me, I probably wouldn't live in Ireland. But I love this country. I love people. I love um, the beautiful views. And yeah, this is my my home now. Uh, today we are cash stuffing uh, out of paycheck number three in March. Um, but before we do my long-term savings challenges, I want to uh, show you my two new savings challenges that I've listed on my Etsy shop, which was recently opened. And thank you so much for those of you who visited and who purchased something from my shop. It really means a lot. It's amazing. And if you're new, um, if you're looking for some new savings challenges, please go and check it out. Maybe you will find something for yourself. But um, I want to show you some new ones. Um, the first one that I've listed, it's called Here Comes the Sun. And it's a set of three similar savings challenges. There are some different between um, each. Side. And I probably would be doing it myself because I really like it. I think it's lovely for spring um, time, maybe for summer or just save any time really. Uh, maybe for the holidays. Um, so here comes the sun, is just beautiful sun and I just wanted to have fun in creating such amazing um, colors uh, in this. And the first one is save what you can. So each sunbeam you can complete, set up your own amounts if you want to save one, two, three dollars, pounds, euros, it's totally up to you. Same for the center, um, it's totally up to you so save what you can. This is the first one. The second one, save small, which means that each sunbeam is one, as you can see it here in the circle. So each sunbeam is one. And then I want you to roll D20 dice. 
die, one die here. That's a D20. So whatever number, oh, this is 20, how nice. <laughs> so you'll be saving 20 for the center. So I wanted to roll the D20 uh, die on that one and you can just put the total saved in the bottom. So this is, like I said, this is set of three. You All the three will be printed on one page. And the next one is save big. So again, each, I actually put the amount myself now for a sunbeam is five for each sunbeam is five. And then for the center, you roll your D6 die and you multiply by 10. So the minimum will be 10 and the maximum will be 60. So let's see this one. Yeah, of course, yeah, 20 on this one and 60 on that one. <laughs> of course, like this is just... Um... <laughs> so this, um, this is already an available in my Etsy shop. And if you're interested, and I probably would be doing that myself because I really want to see the beautiful creations of the sun. And sun is coming. We are in spring season at the moment. So yeah, happy out. So this is my first um, um, saving challenge that I recently created and I want to show you. And the second one is an A4 saving challenge. But for, but it, it doesn't have to be. Um, I hope you're okay with the song, guys. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that um, because I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I don't have blinds in the kitchen window. So apologies for this. Um, if I can lift it on oh, here, maybe it'll be a little bit better. Okay, so this is just a hairstyle saving challenge. Um, I just want you to color these beautiful hair uh, decorations. And this big flower is 20 and you only have one flower. Then each berries here are 15. Each daisy is 10 and each pear, each one single pear is five. So it probably it's a little bit bigger saving challenge, but why not? We need them too. And if you're a fan of coloring like myself, um, um, I just want to, to uh, and it, you know, I actually have quite, sentimental uh, well not sentimental um but i'm well i am getting a little bit um sentimental because i really had a similar without flowers and pearls but i had similar hairstyle for my wedding uh something really similar to this so yeah when i saw that i said i would be lovely to have it as a challenge and it comes like i printed on my a4 and i already put it here in my a4 folder and it comes with an envelope. I created an envelope for this one as well. Um, my envelope is not ready yet because I don't have a glue stick in the house. No glue in the house. So I need to just glue this together. And it's punched already and it's ready to go. So yeah, this is another saving challenge that is already in my available in my Etsy shop. So um, yeah, go and check it out. I will, I, I really appreciate it. Moving to savings challenges and cash stuffing. Um, again, I am starting from my digital saving challenge. And for those of you who are new, I recently started saving money digitally as well. Um, about a month ago, I told, I said in my one of my videos that we have an opportunity to buy the house that we currently live in, but it, that does not going to happen like this year or next year. It will be probably something around in a, in the three years time, but probably we, we we do need a help from the bank to get the money because I don't have that amount of cash or uh, you know savings in in the in my bank account. So I just want to show the bank that I'm a regular saver, that I'm saving the money every week, and the money is on the account because when I was doing cash only. Then I was unstuffing them at the end of the month and the numbers were different. Sometimes I was just putting less into my saving account, sometimes a little bit more. So I just want to save each week um, for them, just for the bank to show them that I am a regular saver and, um, and a budgeter. So yeah, and hopefully they... Uh, they will help us to purchase the house that we are living at the moment. So uh, I opened two savings at account and I named them exactly uh, the way how um, 
the same challenges I am using for to save money in them. So the first one is my spare change challenge and spare change challenge is a money, it's a spare change really. And every Wednesday before we getting paid on Thursday, I'm checking my bank account and I'm just taking the, the end of it, the end, and it's not going to be more than 20 euros a week. So anything under 20 euros and I'm just taking the cents and I'm transferring into the spare chain challenge. And I will show you the screenshot here, uh, but that's a total of the savings at the moment. So last week I have, not last week, um, well, last Wednesday, today is Saturday. So last Wednesday I transferred, I transferred 19 euros and 22 cents. That was the highest amount at the moment, I think so far. So 19.22. So we'll see. The next, we finished this row last week. So let's say, uh, let's do the next one, which is minus 343, 343, 42, 41, and 340. Can we do that? Yes. So we can color five here, 340, and we have two euro and 12 here left so yeah let me do some uh, coloring so we could do 344 up to 340 which is amazing that's five more squares or boxes okay and then we have two euros and 12 which is here and in the screenshot you can see the total um, amount is over 100 years so I saved my first 100 year in my spare chain challenge which is amazing so you won't see any prop money in here I'm only transferred the money digitally and I'm updating you every week on on this uh, by the way this spare chain challenge is from our Irish budget love this tracker love it absolutely love it so uh, that's it that's done and the next digital saving challenge is this one is 50 slash 100 envelope saving challenge this one is from income babes um, um when i was transferring the money on thursday i was convinced that i my next big one is 48 but then when i checked the track and i did transfer 48 euros so when I did uh, check the tracker, I noticed the 40 is, 48 is already done. So I'm happy to say that I can color two today, which is 47 and one. So we can do, I can take the calculator and um, just a moment, I'm using my silver pen for this. So 47, In my 100 envelope challenge, I have already saved over 200 shares, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's brilliant. I like this challenge. It's for low income, um, kind of a low income version um, of 100 envelopes. And I'm also doing my, I'm doing actually two 100 envelopes, my mini envelopes, which you will see in a minute, these guys here. I have 100 mini envelopes. Um, in the box and I'm doing this one uh, digitally so uh, it's brilliant because you have two sections basically the highest amount is 50 and then you're starting all over again from 1 to 50 and you have five bonuses highly recommend this if you if you're on low income and if you want to do your 100 envelope challenge this one is for you so that's perfect that's where I keep my digital savings. And maybe if I go over 500 in any of these savings challenges, I might just put a placeholder or something like that. But at the moment, I won't be doing any um, any uh, prop money or anything like that. I just don't want to do it. Now, moving to my long-term savings challenges, we are doing my mini envelopes. I hope you don't mind the sun, like, um, but I don't mind. <laughs> um, I know it's probably not best way to see 
uh, to watch the, the video but I like I said I've no blinds and this is the best light I can get here in the ki in kitchen in my dining area in the kitchen so uh, I'm doing two mini envelopes today um, I want to speed up this uh, challenge a little bit um, and if I roll one two three it's ten and if it's four five six it's fifteen so I'm rolling two for two envelopes uh, I have two tens and you know what I never count the money you probably were saying like Alicia what about the money <laughs> okay we have 50 100 150 170 180 190 200 lovely so I roll one and three so that means that 10 is going in each envelope so we We are more than halfway in this one, but um, if I can do two a week, it would be amazing. So, okay, my mini envelopes is done. The next one is the message in the bottle, a uh, saving challenge. Um, this saving challenge was created by myself and I have a, a different version for a message in the bottle um, um, listed in my Etsy shop. Um, it doesn't come with the binder because I those just don't know how to do them professionally. <laughs> this one was made by myself and it's all different sizes and corners and everything. So I just kept it for myself, but I created a tracker uh, for message in a bottle and you actually get in 25 small, tiny messages like in here with the small, cute hexagon shaped jar. And yes, that's, that is available in my Etsy shop as well. So I just took one message and we'll see how much money I am saving. You have a cute little message with small gold ring and today I am saving 25. That's a lash. This is the highest you can save in this challenge. Um, so 25. And I'm putting the paper clip just for myself for the next time. It's lovely. Where is the elastic band? I'm just keeping together because this is just getting too thick and it doesn't stay the way how I want. So message in the bottle is done. That's perfect. And then we are going to my yearly savings challenges. In this binder, I am keeping my monthly savings challenges, like from January to December. This track was created by my sister for me. Um, so January is done and I'm keeping the money here. So that's why it's my long-term saving challenge. And this money, this binder is for car insurance uh, that I have in January each year so it's always handy to have some money saved aside for car insurance especially after December after Christmas uh, when you're spending a lot of a little bit more money than normal than normally so January February is done we are currently on March week three uh, where are we saving uh, 15 uh, 15 today and I don't have change already Oh no, wait a second, 15. And if I put 50, yes, I will take this 35 out, five out. That's actually very good. Okay, so let's do 50 and I can mark week three. That is done. Next week, week four is 10 euros, which is grand. I know the total amounts uh, you can save in each month, but I don't know the total amount for the whole year. So my yearly binder is done. Perfect. And now we're moving to this binder where I keep my long-term savings challenges. And we are starting from this beautiful saving challenge from Brittany over in Lunova B, Etsy shop called Lunova B. And I need this dice the color one and the d6 one let's get started so we are we do need a blue tracker because you have a colors you have different colors for each tracker 
and then you're just rolling the die, which is number six. I'll be scratching number six, and they double-sided. How cool is that? I'm so happy that I got this challenge from Brittany, and it's well made. Um, okay, so number six is here. Oh, five. That's great. Nothing is hiding here. No. <laughs> okay, I don't want to swing the camera or the table, so let me get off the dirt. Okay, it's nice and clean, perfect. So I'm saving um, five in this, in today's, in this week. Okay, let me check, do I have, I don't know, I don't have any five, so just five is going in here. Okay, my next one is my Christmas saving challenge, um, which I, this tracker I started last week, and each circle, each bubble is 10 euros, and the total is 600, um, and this is from KT Creations UK, uh, Etsy shop, you will see all the um, Etsy uh, shops links and YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel if they have one in my description box, including my own Etsy shop. And then, um, yeah, I decided to go for 600 um, saving challenge. Um, there are other versions of this one, but I'm starting small and I'm putting 10, next 10 for this. It's just good to start saving money for um, Christmas presents. I don't know, yeah. I will take the 10 out and put 20. Perfect. Oops, the tracker. Which is great. Um, Save 500 is going to get, this one is from Luna Lolly. Um, she also has a YouTube sh uh, YouTube channel and Etsy shop. And I want to do 20 today. So if I can get... 100 in so if I want 20 so I need 20 20 40 60 80 out I hope I'm correct yeah I'm I'm putting 100 I'm taking 80 20 40 60 80 yes okay and let's do not this one. So let's do 20. So I can do 15 and 5. I should do this one. It doesn't matter. I'll do it next time. Uh, save 500 is, uh, is a challenge that I'm using to save for. Uh, like I don't know where am I using the, what am I going to use the money saved here from the color card dice game I don't know how much money would be there um, Christmas is for Christmas Christmas presents and yeah anything with Christmas say 500 I'm using this challenge to for to save for emergency fund um, at the moment and now we move into 2024 saving challenge yearly challenge from Judy over uh, safe with Judy and I have it here in my A4, A4 folder. And wait a second, I'm gonna get ready. First page, Judy is currently on the first page here. And we are saving five for each icon and the next. Okay, that's it for my long-term saving challenge. And you're probably just wondering why you still have the money left over. Um, for those of you who are new, any money that is left uh, now in here, it will go to my short term savings challenges um, for another video. So I'm checking now how much money I have and I'm probably say, um, I can probably say that I started Rox's um, book last week, completely didn't plan this and it was unexpected, but I was so into starting this book so soon so my 
uh, short term savings challenges, um, I, I will be cashed up in my short term savings challenges. And then if I have any money left from this, I will do Rox's book. And I think Rox uh, deserve for a separate video. So I'm hoping to film two third video um, for Rox's book, but we'll see. Um, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. It's brilliant. It's lovely, great amount to work with for the short term saving challenges and for uh, Rox's book. So fingers crossed, uh, I will be able to do something for uh, Rox's book. Um, that's it guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I want to say thank you all. I just prefer not to name any channels or anything, whoever uh, shared and do the shout outs for me because I just afraid that I will miss someone and um, and I just don't want that. So you all know who did it, who helped me. Thank you so much for my new subscribers and welcome guys. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here, amazing. And um, have a lovely weekend. And I will talk to you in my next video for my short term savings challenges. Bye.